The science of paleontology has been around for over 200 years now, being first created in the early 19th century, and in that time some truly exceptional discoveries have been made about ancient animals that roamed the earth, including, of course, the dinosaurs. Some of these discoveries have not only changed the fields of paleontology and biology, but our entire perceptions of the history of life and evolution. Here are three of the most important dinosaur discoveries of all time. The discovery and later description and naming of the dinosaur Iguanodon is arguably one of the most important discoveries in the early history of the science of paleontology. The story of the dinosaur's discovery is that Marianne Mantel, wife of Gideon Mantel, who later described and named the fossil remains, discovered several Iguanodon teeth while walking in Sussex, England. According to the tale, Gideon Mantell was attending to a patient as he was a medical practitioner when his wife found the remains, although this story has been questioned. However true the tale may be, Gideon Mantell later described and named the animal that these teeth belonged to in 1825 as Iguanodon, meaning Iguana Tooth, due to the similarities that Mantell saw between his teeth and those of Iguanas. More remains of what Mantell identified as Iguanodon were found in a quarry in 1834, a large chunk of rock that was nicknamed the Mantell Piece. Mantell used this find to create the first skeletal reconstructions of the animal, and the famous Crystal Palace Iguanodon models were based on the stone slab. However, the fossil was still fairly incomplete, which led Mantell to make a few mistakes while reconstructing the animal, and it was later found to belong to a different species to Iguanodon. But the discovery of those mysterious teeth and the remains of large reptile-like creatures turning up in the rocks of southern England helped to prompt the beginning of the study of dinosaurs, especially since the creature was one of three species that Sir Richard Owen used to create the name dinosaur. In 1861, a German paleontologist was searching in the famous Solnhofen limestone deposit when he came across the preserved fossil of a feather. This feather was soon described and seemed to be a very significant find. However, the discovery heralded the uncovering of an even more spectacular fossil. Later in that same year, the first bones of this mysterious animal were uncovered in Germany and then sold to the Natural History Museum in London for £700. This fossil was lacking a head and part of its neck, but it gave scientists at the time an incredible insight into the origin of birds. Charles Darwin wrote in a later edition of The Origin of Species how this new discovery showed that birds were a much older group of animals than had previously been thought, and how it showed that we still knew very little about the history of life. Of course, it is now well established that birds are dinosaurs, and a large part of the evidence for this came from the discovery of Archaeopteryx in 1861, and the multiple other specimens that have been found since. This animal's discovery is therefore another highly important dinosaur discovery, and led to a major new understanding of the way life evolved on Earth. The first fossils of this predatory dinosaur were uncovered in the south of the state of Montana. This was during an expedition in 1931, which was led by well-known paleontologist Barnum Brown, who became famous for also discovering the first remains of Tyrannosaurus rex. During this fossil hunting expedition, Barnum Brown had actually been searching for a different animal, the bones of a herbivorous dinosaur known as Tenontosaurus. He did indeed find what he was looking for, but in close association with the herbivore, there was also the skeleton of a smaller, carnivorous animal. Barnum Brown never described this new dinosaur, however in 1964, paleontologist John Ostrom uncovered more bones from the creature, and by 1969 enough fossils were known from it that Ostrom was able to publish one of the most important papers in the history of paleontology. Before this paper, Dinosaurs had been largely interpreted as big, slow giants that could not move about quickly. But with the description of Deinonychus, 
it was clear that this was a fast, agile predator. It was clear that previous interpretations had been wrong about many aspects of dinosaur biology, and this paper led to a time in the history of the fields known as the Dinosaur Renaissance. And then, Ostrom noticed something else that once again changed paleontology. He saw that there were many similarities between Deinonychus and living birds today, specifically in the hands of Deinonychus and Archaeopteryx, and this caused him to reconsider the old idea that birds are living dinosaurs. Today, this idea is one of the best supported theories in biology, and, like the discovery of Archaeopteryx, a great deal of the evidence for it originated from the discovery of this other remarkable creature. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Remember that you can subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one, and you can also follow me on social media.